Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Stata Tech, and I have the top five reasons today that you would buy the iPhone 10 over the Google Pixel. A Google, Google Pixel 2, this is a new version. Um, so we have both those devices here. I've spent some time with them. I also did a video on why you might choose the Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10. I think that it's good to know reasons on both sides before you make a choice, especially considering that they're two different platforms. Um, and there's a lot really that makes these phones different between them. So let's talk about why I would choose an iPhone 10 over a Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL, which is what I have in my hand here. So the number one reason is that iconic Apple look that they give to the iPhone. You know, the iPhone really has been the same for a long time. And the iPhone 10 is really a departure from that. Um, you know, the, the iPhone 10 is the first design, major design change to the iPhone, probably since the original iPhone. I mean, there's been some things that have changed along the way, but the first real style change to where it's it's a different looking phone than any other iPhone is the iPhone 10. Um, and so the iPhone 10 is one of those phones that I believe it was designed to stand out as an iPhone 10. You know, when all of these phones, all the Samsung, LG, HTC, all those phones are just making standard looking phones with, you know, less and less bezels, it's really hard to even stand out among the crowd. I mean, even with the Pixel 2, unless somebody knows what the Pixel 2 looks like and can differentiate it, it looks just like most other phones, especially from the front. You know, from the back, maybe if you didn't have a case on it, you can kind of tell because Google's been doing a lot of commercials for the phone and people might be more aware of a Pixel 2 more than they've ever been in the past. But nonetheless, it's still from the front, it looks like most other Android phones. The iPhone 10 has that iconic look that they gave it. It has, you know, the notch at the top or whatever, you know, and I, I believe that they did that because it just, how else is a phone going to look different? I mean, they changed the orientation of the camera on the back to make it look different and the front of the phone looks different. People will stop and say, is that an iPhone 10? Very few people are gonna stop you and say, is that a Pixel 2? Because from the front and probably even from the back, it looks like most other phones. Um, and you know, if that matters to you, that's a good reason. The display on the iPhone 10 would be the second reason, and the display is really great. On the Pixel 2, people have complained about the display being, you know, not very vibrant, uh, that there's a blue shift to it when you rotate the phone a little bit. There's a little bit of a blue shift on the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 10 just has an all around better display. I mean, sure, they're using Samsung display technology, whereas, uh, you know, the Google Pixel is not, um, and that might be where the difference is. I mean, Samsung really really knows how to make some displays, and Apple really knows how to work with Samsung to make some amazing displays. So with that, the iPhone 10 just has a better overall display. When I'm watching movies or shows or videos on YouTube, um, it just it feels a little more vibrant when I'm looking at the iPhone 10 than on the Pixel. Granted, you know, you can go in and tweak things on the Pixel a little bit, but it still just doesn't have the vibrancy that the iPhone has. So the display would have to be a good reason. Number three is the screen to body ratio. I mean, if you put these phones next to each other, you can see that the iPhone 10 is significantly smaller than the Pixel, yet the iPhone 10 has a slightly larger display um, than the Google Pixel, which is pretty crazy. So the Google Pixel 2 has a uh, small, slightly smaller display, but the phone is larger. And uh, that has to do obviously with, you know, the speakers and stuff and whatnot. Um, you know, things take up a little bit of room. There's no notch on this phone, uh, but it is larger. Of course, you can get the Pixel 2, not the XL, which is smaller, but then you're really getting a smaller display than the iPhone 10. So you're getting a lot, you're getting a bigger display on the iPhone 10 and a smaller package, which I find really nice because some of these phones are getting pretty large these days. Having a smaller phone that's more pocketable, uh, especially uh, for those of you that are female or you just want a smaller phone in general and these big ginormous iPhones are falling out of your pocket, I mean, that's a problem uh, and you're not gonna have to sacrifice by going with an iPhone 10. 
The fourth reason would be the dual cameras. You know, uh, the dual cameras, some people love them, some people hate them. I do like the fact that you can punch in to 2X zoom on the iPhone 10 um, without really losing, without losing any quality. You know, on the uh, on the Pixel, there's digital zoom and you can supposedly take two pictures at 2X without losing any quality but I have noticed that when you do zoom into 2X on the Pixel, you start to lose quality in lower light situations, which most of us are taking pictures indoors in different situations where it's not a super bright day out. And so when you zoom in a little bit digitally on the Pixel, though it does a great job, at taking photos at 2x zoom digitally, it doesn't do as good of a job all around as the iPhone 10 does in 2x. So overall, that dual camera does help out a bit with the iPhone 10. The fifth reason would be, of course, the accessories and the ecosystem that comes with the iPhone in general. And that's not just necessarily an iPhone 10 thing, that's an iPhone across the board thing. Um, there are a lot more accessories, there are a lot more apps. The apps are genuinely better. Uh, you know, more features come to them first. There are more cases, more ways to style. There's just more things all around in general. And then take the buying of extra things aside, the iPhone just works really great with Apple's other products. That ecosystem is great. If you have an iPad, if you have a Mac, they all work and talk to each other really well. You have AirDrop for sharing files between all of your devices. You have uh, iMessage or messages that works across all your devices so that you can respond to text messages from whatever device you're in front of. I mean, those are things that you can kind of hodgepodge together on an Android experience, but not you're not going to have the same experience that you would have on an iPhone, and the iPhone 10 definitely gives that to you. So that's going to do it for my five reasons why you would choose an iPhone over the Pixel 2. Now, don't get me wrong, the Pixel 2 is a fantastic phone. It's one of the best, if not the best, Android phone out right now. The iPhone 10 definitely the best iPhone that's out right now as well. But nonetheless, uh, there are reasons why you would choose one or the other. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out the reasons that you would choose the Pixel 2 over the iPhone 10. Link is in the description below, as well as links to where you can find out more information about these phones. Maybe pick one up on Amazon if you are so inclined. So make sure to check out those links in the description, and we'll see you next time here on State of Tech.